men. The poster boys for cheating. Look at what? them. <laughs> <laughs> Blood niggas. Blood niggas. <laughs> I did co 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 bombi Bandana Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is another episode of Wind Down with Rosalind. I knew it. That's how it's going to happen. I knew it. So this is another, basically another episode of Wind Down with Rosalind. And this episode, I, I love the title so much. It's called Ask a Man. So basically, I asked you guys to help me understand why men do some of the things that they do and so i have my as you can see already i have my very able-bodied gentleman here today mm -hmm. you guys ask me a lot of questions i'm going to ask them directly you're going to hear it straight from the horse's own mouth we, we are going to try and understand this thing mm -hmm. today um here on my very immediate right mm -hmm. is steve morris Mesa. i know you guys know him the girl them sugar rich daddy star boy wheezy hey, wow. everything all the names you can hear rich daddy wow. yeah pop daddy, I, I, say pop daddy. Amen. <laughs> amen 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 i receive Steve it morris a very very good photographer you guys know him and I'm then i'm a good photographer i'm a great photographer yeah tell them i'm an amazing photographer yeah, all right you're amazing thank you good photographer good sorry uh, my apologies he's not a good photographer he's an amazing yes, fact fact, fact. Yeah. super fact all right and my far right we have major retired major general <laughs> cheater yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so you used to cheat, Michael. I mean, I've cheated before. You used to. I mean, it wasn't like, a continuous thing, but I've cheated before. Have you cheated? How many times have you cheated? Oh, just a handful. Oh, then then it's used to. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's no, not no, like no. I cheated no, before. No, no. Like it's one no, time. No, no. I've cheated before. I mean. Let's be adults. And let's, be honest. <laughs> and let's be honest. Like your voice is going down as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually coming up. Anyway, so <laughs> you heard it from him, Mikey Ashka himself, mm. very very renowned actor. Anyway, so that is my panel for today, and we're going to jump right cheers. into it. We're about to yeah. us, so. No, we're not cheering with you. You I guys are say. against us, so. So really, we just want to understand the okay, nonsense. It's all love. It's so all love. It's all we love, love you guys anyway. Cheers. So. If yeah. you have wine at home, cheers to you too. This lady says, seriously, when will men start to identify? Seriously. Yes. Seriously. There's a serious question there, yeah. Manu. Like, come on, what's that? You can't tell it's coming from coming somewhere from deep. Within. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seriously, when will men start to identify as polygamous so we can also stay clear? What does also stay clear? So they can make up their mind and say, okay, this man has put it out that he wants to be polygamous. So she's not going to basically be stressing about why is my, is my man cheating? Or, like she knows that you've made it, like you've. No, a man, can be, a man can be polygamous and still cheat. Cheating has nothing to do with monogamy or monogamy, no? Oh. So even when you have three wives, you still cheat? Mm, I don't think it's a thing. That's why, that's why it has nothing to do with cheating. Because you can have three wives and still cheat. And still be an unfaithful yeah. bastard. All right. Me, I don't think it's... Can you put it on silence? I don't think polygamy is a thing that is uh, restricted to men. Mm -hmm. I think that... Women can also be polygamous. I think it's down to the individual. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I identify as a very monogamous person. Mm -hmm. So if you've had uh, problems with polygamous men, it's a very individual thing. I feel mm -hmm. like there are a bunch of people who cannot stick to one person, and there are people who can as well. So I don't, I don't think it's a general thing. But, but it's, 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 it's more identified with men. It is, and I yeah, think like when you talk about monogamy or polygamy, it's usually the men are usually like the center of like the because discussion. there's this thing where they say society 
Accept, say, yeah, it's a society. It's thing. excusable for men it's excusable to cheat. For a man to because have, they say men yes, are like that. Men exactly. will always be men. But I so, think it's an individual thing. I think they are polygamous people, mm-hmm. and then they are also monogamous people. people. I Me, mean, I think I identify as a monogamous person. But what she's saying it mm-hmm. is that even though some men will be polygamous, they wouldn't tell you, or even though they want, they don't want. So they are not honest. That's just yeah. basically what the person is trying to say. The person is trying to say so why, men why are men not honest, honest. with why? what they want in a situation mm. basically can you put yourself in in a, a guy's mind a guy who's dishonest about what they want can you and un- let us understand the rationale behind it um i think <clears throat> i think it's the same as other situations where you would be dishonest only to gain something mm-hmm. And it shouldn't be yeah. restricted to relationships or men. Yeah. Or men I was women. literally going to say, if someone is dishonest, it just means that the person is dishonest. Yeah. Like it's as simple as that. It's not because that's like, how men are. We are dishonest. <laughs> there are people who are dishonest in their relationships, mm-hmm. others in their workplaces, and so on. Most, so. most likely, if you're dishonest in your relationship, you, you are just a dishonest. You are just yeah. a dishonest. But you'll be dishonest in your business. Uh huh. Most likely, yes. yes. People because, who because tend it's, it's to like, lie tend to lie. Yeah. And yeah. People who tend to want to keep things straight and forward, they do. usually it's all keep wrong. things yeah. exactly. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, what drives married men to cheat, and what is their take? What is your take on a lady de- dating a married man? So, it's two questions. <laughs> Let's start with the first one. What drives? What will drive a married man to cheat? Well, I'm not married. Same. Okay. But you you if can you like put your finger, you should put a ring on it. If you like a finger, you should put a ring on it. If you like your finger, is that what, what she said? Saying? What did she say? If you like it, you put a ring on it. She didn't say if you like the finger. Put no. It. If you like it, then you should put a ring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you like it, then you should put a ring. Exactly. Um, so nobody likes you not to put a ring on it. Is that what you're saying? Yet, no, these girls. These girls, tell us, tell yeah. us more. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm not married, so I can't really. I feel like it's a you very, very. Se- be, mm-hmm. I feel like it's very, very. I mean, I have a lot of married friends, and mm-hmm. I know a lot of married people. Do they talk to you about some of the things they're doing? Yes. And why they're doing? Like, um, it kind of explains why they're doing the things they're doing. Then you can share some light on it. Okay. Yes. So, what's the question again? Why? Why would a married man cheat? What drives a married man to, 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 cheat? Want to cheat? Yeah. It could be so many things. Mm-hmm. It could be so many things. I don't even know. I don't like, think you there's. Wanna... A, I don't think there's one reason. Yeah. Then again, to me, I believe that a lot of things are down to the individual. Mm-hmm. We generalize a lot, but a lot of things are down to the individual. Mm-hmm. So I feel like somebody, a man may decide to cheat, and a lot of the time you hear boredom as the excuse. Mm. Then sometimes. Do you think too, it's boredom? Do you think it's? I'm going off what I've heard. Okay. I'm also okay. So let's this. Let's list a few. So, okay. boredom. I've heard boredom. Mm-hmm. I've heard um, it's pretty much the same thing, but a lack of excitement after they got married. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Somebody, still boredom. Mm-hmm. Still boredom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and just for the plain fact that the man is a uh, cheat. Like, that one's just. Uh huh. Let me even speak. Personality that. traits. Yes, that's the thing. Let me speak on that. Something yeah. that uh, my mom actually taught me a long time ago mm-hmm. that a lot of men think that they can cheat on their girlfriends, cheat, 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 and then when they marry, they will automatically reform. Change. He's like, nah, it's a habit. Yeah. You become used to cheating all your life. It's not yeah. a wife who automatically, by some sort of you. magic, change you, you know? Yeah. So if a person is a cheat before he got he's married, he's likely to continue. Mm-hmm. If a person has managed to not cheat for a while before marriage, that means he's capable of uh-huh. not cheating. Yeah. Yeah, so that, means he cheats, that means he cheats when he wants to cheat. He's able to He's able to control yes. when he, like when he cheats, he actually cheats because he knows that he's cheating. Me, I think it's just down to habits. Mm. Yeah. I think it's down to habits. If you are a cheat, you mm-hmm. continue to be a cheat. Yeah. If you are a faithful person, I think we can happy. add unhappiness yes. as number three. Yes, as I was about to say unhappiness, that's that's also like stress. They mention stress yes. a lot. Yes. Like after a long hard day, yeah. you don't want to go home to Yeah, so unhappiness and stress tight. But uh-huh. I like the fact that you said stress because that just emphasizes on what kind of unhappiness Uh but for me being a woman Mm -hmm. in like the way i see things if you're stressed Mm -hmm. wouldn't you rather not add on more stress because i feel like engaging two engaging one woman is already work on its own Mm -hmm. 
So now you claim I'm, to. I'm happy you acknowledge uh -huh. that. No, I acknowledge yes. it fully. <laughs> I'm happy you acknowledge that. <laughs> but but it's, it's a fact. It's, so no, let me land. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying that you're cheating because you're stressed, because you're getting away from the stress that's already at home, isn't it added on work and an extra stress? Well, what's the work to hide it? To engage, woman. to engage another woman if, or multiple what, women. What if it's someone outside. that you don't even necessarily need to engage too much with? What if it's someone that you've always been talking to? And like, even whilst you're outside. married. Let's say, let's say a man has a friend, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A friend who he likes. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's boundaries and they respect each other's boundaries or whatever. Like, the woman knows that he's married. But then he still likes this woman. But he's married and he loves his wife. <laughs> And then he's he's stressed at home, whatever reason, his wife is stressing him out mm -hmm. or they're having problems. And then he's sharing it with this woman. That's already in, that's engagement. And then the woman says, you know, why don't you come over and let me let me make you a meal? Like <laughs> well, I mean I don't really know what yeah. example to give, but like whatever it is, they they, they meet up, he goes to her house. Okay. And then they are let's say okay, she says, come over and let's talk about it. Genuinely. And they're talking about it and you know, so as far as another. on that other side, it seems less. It, it seems less of. All I'm trying to say is it doesn't. It seems it, easier. All I'm trying to say is it doesn't have to. It, it doesn't have to. Cheating doesn't have to feel like work. It doesn't have to be like I'm chatting girls and I'm hiding it. So okay. it's like it's work. So I'm, there could be, there it could, could just be something as easy and easy. casual. It could be someone in the office who just noticed that he's stressed mm -hmm. and then she's just trying to be nice. And then it, it turns into something else. Uh, another thing too is mm -hmm. um, the whole 80 20 rule. If <laughs> there's. <laughs> <laughs> let, me I mean, I can, let me see if I can explain it. Basically, there's a sort of there's a rule mm -hmm. that you won't get a hundred percent in one person you get like 80 percent but that 20 percent that you don't get if you see it elsewhere all of a sudden it's exaggerated because mm. yeah. hey this is what i've been looking for all this mm, while okay makes sense uh-huh so sense. i feel like that plays a part here to where if the stress kind of takes over and then you're blinded home, to all of the good things no, all of the 80 too. Uh -huh. Like I, everything else is going well. The eighty is going well, but that twenty percent, which is now the stress, has become exaggerated because right now maybe mm. the stress is something oh, stress 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 If way. somebody outside of your marriage can alleviate that stress, it's it exaggerated. Seems, it, it's like, wow, it seems, I've been looking yeah, for this piece in yeah. my house all this while, and I in my found life. it in my life, not in my house, <laughs> <laughs> and I found it elsewhere. Meanwhile. Everything else is going well, mm. but then that twenty percent is now exaggerated. I've so never heard this 80, 20 thing. the peace but of mind you find elsewhere becomes a lot more appealing. So that's on the man, but yeah. then there's there's, there's the rule, factor. and it kind of makes that rule is it's it exists now because it makes sense. Mm. It didn't make sense, so we wouldn't be talking about it. Okay, so these are some of the reasons why you feel like married men cheat. Mm -hmm. I can only speculate at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but most of them are just cheat. <laughs> most of them are just cheat, honestly. Yes. Yeah, I, most of them, that, yeah, just, I, I, I genuinely believe, believe <clears throat> I genuinely believe yes. it. Like cheating if you don't is a character train yourself trait. to yep. be It's in discipline. It's a form yep. of indiscipline. Yep. It's discipline. It's if a you don't train yourself flow. to yeah. be committed to one person, it's then not marriage. It's not marriage as going to change you. It's not magic. I mean, it's really not. Yeah. Yeah. What is their take? What is your take on a lady dating a married man? Hmm. Me, um, me, I don't encourage it. Yeah, it's also kind of scary. Why not? Me personally, I believe in the sanctity why? of marriage. Yeah, like why? I believe in the sanctity of marriage. I believe that if you go to church, and and you, it has been witnessed by family and friends, blessed, signed. I believe in yeah, those like, things. I believe that it's a very holy. Pure or something. Holy matrimony. So That's if you actually, actually interfere with it, I think there are consequences, whether yeah. immediate or in the future or direct Honestly, or indirect. For me, it's not even about. I mean, I, I agree with what you're saying. For me, it's not even about holiness or anything. It's just like, yo, this is someone has. Like when you get married to someone, it's like you found yours. It's like you found, found your, your you, are, you found your your ying or your ying to your yang yeah. or whatever it is. And you want to mess that so up. So it's like. Like go find yours. Like do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. there are so many reasons and so many ways that people end up 
dating sometimes mm. you know as a girl you might not even that might not be your, your intention but it just happens you just mm. find out that and that's at the time you too know. i don't even think it's emotionally fueled what do you think is fueled by a lot of the time i think well maybe not a lot of the time mm. i can't speak on the number i don't know what the percentages are but there's a good amount of women involved in married men and i don't think it's emotionally fueled i think it's probably financially fueled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then other reasons um well yeah for instance i know or i have known people who even have boyfriends mm-hmm. but then are with married men because of things that their boyfriend cannot, cannot get for them yeah. okay you understand but for me my main thing is the fact that it's a sanctified holy something like a serious business and i don't think certain things should be interfered with including okay marriage like so you don't you don't condone women uh, dating married men yeah, yeah that's just i'm not saying it's the women's fault sometimes to it's the men's fault yes but yeah. i feel or like, like as a morally uh, upright person you should try as much as possible, as possible to not interfere not to yeah mm-hmm. okay get all yourself right. in such a situation all right, all right, all right. next question why do men want to start a relationship with sex do mm-hmm. <laughs> you say huh <laughs> Why do this men? Interesting. Interesting. For interesting myself. Yeah. Um, why do men want to start a relationship with sex? As in, like before. I think you that's become, another generation. As in, like before you become my you know, girlfriend, we have to have sex. Not even that. You know how you and this guy will be acting like you are. You are doing everything that relationship is, and then you like it's going on and on, but then he doesn't say anything, and you get to the point oh, where you actually I have to I mean. ask, "What are we?" I think so that's starting, I don't think that's the beginning case the relationship of a man starting a ah, relationship with oh, sex. I sorry, think it's sorry. a case of a woman expecting a relationship after having sex with a man. Whoever that is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoever that is, I'm sorry. Yeah. But I don't think it's a case of men start. I, I've, I've never if you're heard asking what are we in 2020, I'm sorry, you have to upgrade. I don't <laughs> but I feel like as a no, like as a woman, like like come on, like what are we in 2020? Like if no, you but want, there's nothing if you, wrong with asking what are we. Now no, me, like it's so, it's so, it's me so personally, old school. My, my take is that I don't know a single man mm-hmm. who has wanted to start a relationship with and sex. Hasn't made I think it is rather, a let's call, let's be adults and let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think a lot of the time, uh, a woman will hold out for a while and then when she has sex with a man, after some time, inevitably expect something expect it to happen. Okay. So as for this question, so that, that leads to what I'm saying. That leads, <laughs> that, that, that leads to what I'm saying about how asking what I wish is so old school. It's like, as a grown up woman, mm-hmm. if you want something from a man, you just ask him about it or ask him for it. Like, so you are you are so in support of women proposing to men. Absolutely. If you if you like him, you tell him that you like him and let that, it be known. At least yeah, like known. this is how I feel about you. It's not. You're not necessarily. Let's say, okay, you don't want to see you like are, a proposal. Oh, I you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind this girl. She's a fraud. I suppose you are. Let's not even. Let's not even talk about the whole girl, girl proposing to a guy thing. Mm-hmm. Like, if you if you like this guy, or whatever it is, like express how you feel to him. Say, mm-hmm. this is how I feel about you. Okay, I've known you for like the past two months, and this is this is this is this. this. How do you feel about me? Yeah, that's, and, that's another no, but, context of asking what are no, we. No, yeah, but that's a more mature way of asking than saying what are we? What are we? We are pencils in the hands <laughs> of the creator. What's that? Like nothing but clay. <laughs> if you ask me what are we, I'll tell you we're, we're friends. We're, we did. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. After this question, they will nullify it. Yeah. People know what they expect. We really they expect it. Mm. I see. Yeah. Why, why do men hold back their thoughts on us most times? I can't relate. Yeah, you can't relate. Very, you know me. I'm a very expressive right. person. Mm-hmm. I don't. If I keep things inside me for yep. more than. But the one, reason I'm why you are here is you. You will not necessarily okay. relate okay. to everything. Let me put it this way. I think that you have male friends. You yeah. know they are thinking. Boys talk, talk to before. boys. Okay, when you say hold back, what do you mean? Like they hold back their thoughts. Like they don't open up or they hold back. Like you know, a man cannot share too many vulnerable things. You know, with the nah, woman. They couldn't say a thought on the woman, right? Why do they hold back their thoughts on us yeah. most times? So I think it could be two things. I think one, it could no, actually three things. One, I think there are certain people who are not expressive. So mm-hmm. first of all, analyze who you are dating. Mm-hmm. Maybe the person is just not the kind to express. Personality. That's so very, very true. That's one. It could be mm-hmm. just because that's how the person is. Two, I'm a bit tipsy, so I've forgotten, but let me try and remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, two, because I think he genuinely is not with you 
for the long term. And so he doesn't was, want to open up and uh -huh. tell if you. If you're somebody and it's deep, then you're vulnerable. Mm. You open up because you know that it's not I agree. Deep. Like I can relate to that. I yeah. feel like I if wouldn't tell you thing, a lot of things to, if it's if you not know that it's deep. not just. Yeah. Why am I opening up so uh -huh. much to you? And the yeah. third thing, I swear I've forgotten. So the second one is if if so if, basically if your guy is holding. But, so if you are, and no, if, he doesn't if, see you as a long term. If he doesn't see you long term, why he am I want going to just extra amount to start being open and emotional? Yeah, that's no point. That's no point. All right, so but then, then also the first one's really important. Yeah, you need to personality. Know the kind of yeah. that he maybe is. it's not the he maybe he actually genuinely cares, but, he but he's not the kind of person up. to express. Okay. okay. Let me also add that sometimes to don't forget your third point. I'm trying to remember. What I'm trying to remember. Let me say that sometimes to I'm and I'm not even saying that you should. I'm not even trying to give the women work, but sometimes mm -hmm. you you should, if you really want to know more about someone, engage them. Someone said something, I'm trying to remember who it is, but a person said that a man will tell you what you need to know, something like that. Like, you don't have to ask a man. If you. If, like, you don't need to ask a man um, questions. Like, he will tell you himself, something like that. Mm. But basically. <laughs> I you, don't believe that. Yeah. I'll, I'll think, I'll rem try to remember, remember exactly how it is. I'll tell you, I'll try to remember what, exactly what the person mm -hmm. said. I think the third thing too could be that sometimes you are wary of their reactions to certain things. And uh, that I don't want to generalize. Mm -hmm. But then there is a general I hope this thing is recording, it by is. the way, because that would be tragic. It is, it is. I can see the red light. Um okay. I think there is some sort of generalization that um when it comes to speech, mm -hmm. women are more affected than men. In terms of things you can say to hurt somebody. Okay. So I don't think it's valid. We are moved a lot by uh -huh. words. We're moved. Okay. Huh? Whether or not it's valid. So I said women should come and ask questions. But we didn't finish the, the uh, last question. A guy came to. A ask. guy came to ask why why women do so. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that man. I don't want to mention his name. He shout knows out, himself. Shout out to that man. Shout so this one goes ego. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Dot dot dot. What do you dot, think? Dot, dot. Yes, there is. It's very <laughs> dramatic. <Ellipses. laughs> Why? What do you think about ego? This That's is such a very, a very big. Question. Yeah. Okay, so let me just keep this simple. Since okay. We're, we're, okay. We're doing now. Men versus women. Mm -hmm. I have this theory or like this argument. I feel like women, women also have huge But you say men. Why are you saying no, women also? That, so that's 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 my you know. But the reason why I'm saying that is because it's always been like men have bigger egos than women. But I don't think it's true. I feel like just like every other thing, it's. It varies it's on a who, thing that's who, varies yeah. on who, who it who is, is like who, regardless yeah. of whether it's, you're a man or a woman. Right. I've met some women who have like some really really big egos. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so I it's, think it's just been made like a man thing because it's like it's like a thing. Like we always talk about men's ego, but women have big egos as well. Really this really is, big egos. This is what I have to I say. I think women have pride. Uh huh. This Not necessarily. I, I think it's two different things. Yes, I think women have pride. Women have pride. And because of how we are socialized and brought up into you are the prize, you know, you are this and that, you are, you know, sex is, is not happening to you, you are giving it to the woman, like all these Society things. Society raises, raises you to, to be prideful. Yeah. So women have pride, not ego. Men have mm -hmm. ego. Let me put it this way. When, so there's two different yeah, things. Okay. When you mm -hmm. said ego, the first thing that came to my mind, the first word that popped up was respect, right? And I think we have learned, if anything at all this year, that a lot of people who demand respect don't actually deserve it. <laughs> Shout out to all my over 40 folk. <laughs> but then a lot of old folk, and we've learned it a lot yeah, this year, yeah, yeah. demand respect and don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of comes down to men as well. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are a lot of men who have also, the same way a woman has been raised to have pride, I think men are also raised to have ego. Yeah. You are raised, yeah. don't do this. Mm. Somebody will As a man, dear, as don't a man, cry. Yeah. Don't do uh -huh. And then you are also raised to like expect from people just because mm. you are a man. They are men. And then when you Entitlement. Hit, Entitlement. Okay. And then that's when, that's when right. you hit a certain age too, then it comes automatically. Because that's all you've seen. You've mm. seen old people being respected because for the mere fact that they are old. existing, mm. yeah. 
So I think it all boils down to society. Um, of, of course, as adults, we must take um, responsibility for the things that we do. But I think it all boils down to society. The same way women are raised to have pride, I think men are raised or influenced by their society to have ego. Either from being directly taught or from observing men have ego. Sometimes for, you don't even deserve to have that ego. But just because you're a man, you are brought you've up. You've seen and you've you brought up to yeah. respect certain things. Mm. So I think that's what it boils down to. So that's, that's what you think about ego. That's what I think about ego. Okay. I think it, yeah. I, I think it's taught. I think it's learned. I think it's it's a gradual it's social, thing. Yeah. It's it's so socialized. Yeah, I agree. All right. It's socialized. Cool. Good point. Yeah. Okay. So do you understand the role of a woman in your life? Hell yeah. What, what do you understand it to me? Hmm? I don't think I understand the question, but you, if you understand it, I think you should go. Maybe by his answer, you might get yeah, an idea. Yeah. I mean, I think different people have different rules in your life, right? Mm -hmm. Me, for instance, I... Wait, sorry, sorry to cut you. As in, like, the woman in your life, or like women in general? That's a good... Do you understand the role of, of the a woman, woman of in, your your life. Life. in your life? So I think so it's like, a woman like a in partner. your life, yeah. Okay. I think everybody has different roles to play in a person's life. Right, mm -hmm. I have come to I'm realize that, I'm for fine. instance, my little <laughs> brothers mm -hmm. have a specific role in my life. Mm -hmm. My dad has, and so on and so forth. Um, I don't think this has been the case in previous relationships, but in my current relationship, I think I very much recognize what she adds to my to life. To your life, okay. And it's a lot. Okay. So I think it depends on Aww, the different individual. Lot. Oh yeah. Aww, it depends lot. it depends on me, I'm a believer of individual. Mm. Like I don't believe in generalization. Some generalizations are true. But because in general majority. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I do recognize what the woman in my life at the moment. Let me has. just chip in something. Mm -hmm. Um so is there anything your girlfriend is doing for you now mm -hmm. that you can't you couldn't you wouldn't or you couldn't have gotten from a friend, a best friend, a close friend? On a consistent basis, yes. On a one-off basis, probably not. But then... Can you give me an example? I'll have to think a I mean, time. apart from sex. <laughs> <laughs> nah, even things like, even things like support, right? Um, of course. But you I, get support nah, from, from your friends. You hold on. I, like, but are even, you willing to open up even, to that level, to that friend? Uh -huh. Even the woman I'm dating now, right? I yes. don't expect her to be able to support me 100%. She, she has her own life, has her own struggles and whatnot. But I can at least be, to a certain level, be assured of constant support where I can't expect that from maybe anybody else. I don't agree. Really? I don't agree. I feel like then maybe my friends are trash. Let me <laughs> <laughs> let me use her for an example. As an example, she's my best friend, right? Mm -hmm. And regardless of how tired I That's am, me. That's of, me. Hello. <laughs> regardless of how tired I am of supporting her, wow. I will still so you get tired. No, of I'm supporting. I haven't. No, no, no. Like <laughs> wow. I haven't gotten tired of supporting. You know, I'm just bouncing off what he said. Okay, so hypothetically speaking, like. If I give you so much support to the extent that I'm tired, mm -hmm. just based on the fact that I love you and um, yeah, just based on the fact that I love you and I'm, I've decided that I will keep supporting you, regardless of the fact that I'm, I'm tired, I will still support you. Do you get what I'm saying? So it, there's no cap, basically. Mm -hmm. There's no cap on the support that I, I get, I'll give. Yeah, I'll give you. And it doesn't matter whether I'm tired or not. Like, you can call me. There are many times you ask me to do something for you. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, I, I can't, I'm I just say? like, yo, you're stressing me out. That's how I like Rosen. Not today. Like, I'm, you're stressing me out. But I, I end up doing it anyway. And I don't hate her less for that. It's just something that you do because, you know, you do anything for this mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that because. <laughs> I'm just saying that because, oh based on your explanation, it sounded as if there was a cap. It's like with your girl, you have more cap than some like somebody else. No, but I'm just saying no, that. Actually, let me touch on that, right? Mm -hmm. It may sound some way, but I actually think that we, the people of today, have become 
a little too politically correct. Mm. I actually do think that if you are with somebody, mm -hmm. whether you are dating seriously or married, mm -hmm. I do think that as a natural functioning person, you'll expect more of that person than everybody else. Anybody else. else. It's just that now, you know, there's so much preaching about don't depend on this person. But isn't that more like that more I'm coming of an emotional? Hey, I'm, coming, I'm about to land. Mm -hmm. But then I do think that if you're dating somebody and it's serious, or if you're married to somebody, mm -hmm. whether you think it's correct or not, I, th I, I think you are naturally inclined to expect more. Silence. Something mm -hmm. that somebody will do, if she does the same thing, maybe this thing that my friend did, it hits me 2 over 10. If she did the same oh, thing, it would help me like six over ten because of how human beings mm -hmm. function. Mm -hmm. If you give more to someone, you, you expect, you expect more, more mm. and so on and so forth. So I don't know if that answers the question, but I've even forgotten the question. What was the what question? What's the next thing, Charlie? No, it says, do you understand the role of a woman in your life? Uh -huh, wow, no. we've we, gone so yeah, far. Yeah, 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 <laughs> no, but it's, 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 it's not a. Uh, do you understand? An easy question to answer, that's why. Me, I do. I do you understand? understand? Okay, so if you're with a woman, do you understand her role in your life? You one, do? one I do, but I, I think I that role is dynamic. I think it changes with time. With time and with circumstances. And with circumstances. So, for example, and then I expect that person to also um, have certain expectations of me. That will also change with time. With it change your time, meaning, I mean, if it transitions from relationship to marriage, kids, maybe even a change in job, change in finances, so on and so forth. That role, I think, is dynamic, mm -hmm. but I think it's also very important to know it and know what a person is capable of or not. Okay, okay makes sense. Because in so, so in addition mm -hmm. to what you're saying, it's, it's, it's varies relationship, uh, to relationship to relationship Individualistic. Mm. It's, it's different for everyone it's but as long as you understand the role of that woman in your life yeah. and i think it should be a realistic expectation yeah. okay. sometimes and maybe even more than not you know let me not even go there but then i think <laughs> <laughs> let me not even go there but i think that in different relationships what people expect from the other is different is different however it should be realistic don't go demanding things that the person cannot genuinely give at I feel time. You. I think I understand you. Mm. I understand yeah. you more now. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm very pleased. This is um, nice. And thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you guys for doing this. Thank yeah. you for catching up and watching. Peace out. All the way until the end. I will see you on my next episode. Thank you. Right, bye. Bye. Peace.